Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and today I'm going to teach you the greetings in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to visit my website because I'm going to upload a PDF to practice this lesson. Let's start right now. In Spanish exists different ways to say how are you. The most common is como estas. Como estas use the verb estar, that means to be. Estar is the verb to be that is temporary, like how are you in the moment? Como estas? Como vas? Use the verb to go. Vas means you go. So, como vas means how you go. Como vas? Como vas? Como andas? Andar means to walk or to be. Andar is the informal version of the verb to be. Como andas means how are you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal is the same. How are you? ¿Qué means what? And tal means such. So, ¿qué tal is how are you? Also, you can say ¿qué tal estás? Also, you can say it's possible. ¿Cómo has estado? ¿Cómo has estado? So, means how you have been. As is you have. So, how you have been. ¿Cómo has estado? ¿Cómo has estado? How you have been. So, if you want to say the formal way of these expressions, of these questions, you simply have to drop the S in each question so if you want to say how are you in a formal way you're going to say como esta without the s como esta it's polite it's formal como va como va como anda como anda como ha estado como ha estado que tal esta que tal esta You shouldn't use qué tal for formal because it sounds informal. You have to say qué tal está to make it sound formal. Now let's see how to reply. And also let's see the vocabulary related to the feelings. So, eh, estoy means I am temporary. I am like that in the moment. So, estoy bien means that I'm good. Estoy bien. Estoy bien. Estoy mal. Estoy mal means I'm bad. Estoy mal. Estoy regular. Estoy regular. It means I'm like so so. Estoy regular. Estoy triste. Estoy triste. Means, I'm sad. Estoy triste. Cansado. Cansado. Means, I'm tired. Cansado. Cansado. Feliz. Estoy feliz. Happy. I'm happy. Estoy contento. Estoy contento. I'm happy. Confundido. Confused. Confundido. Estoy confundido. Estoy confundido. Enfadado. Enfadado. Estoy enfadado. Upset. Estoy molesto. Estoy Molesto. Upset. Estoy bravo. Estoy bravo. Upset. Estoy relajado. Estoy relajado. I'm relaxed. Estoy enfermo. Estoy enfermo. I'm ill. Estoy Aburrido. 
Estoy aburrido. Estoy ocupado. Estoy ocupado. Busy. I'm busy. So, if you are a woman, you have to change the ending of those that ends in O. Cansado changes to A. Cansada. Cansada. I'm a woman. I say I'm tired. Cansada. Contento. Happy. Estoy contenta. Estoy contenta. Confundida. Confundida. Women. Molesta, molesta, brava, enfadada, relajada, enferma, aburrida, ocupada. If it's plural, then you have to say, in this case, we are not going to use the, the plural, but if you want to say plural, remember if it ends in O, you simply add an S. Relajados, enfermos, aburridos, ocupados. But the plural in Spanish, we are going to talk about that in the future. So don't worry about that in this moment. So only remember, if you're a woman, change the O to A. That's all. Now, uh, other expressions, other questions. Now to say, what's new? You can say, que hay? Que hay? I means there is in there. There were, there are. So, que hay is what there is, what there is. What there is of new is the complete sentence. Que hay de nuevo, que hay de nuevo. Que más, más is more. So, what else? Que más, what else? What's up? Que más. Como va tu vida? Como va tu vida? Como va tu vida? How goes your life? Va, you remember vas, that you go. Now is uh, life goes. Como va tu vida? Como va tu vida? How your life goes? Que cuentas? Que cuentas? Cuentas is the verb contar, to tell. So what do you have for telling me? What is new? Que cuentas? Now we have here uh, other vocabulary that I feel is a bit more mm, specific, a bit uh, more complicated maybe, and that's why I put level two. So, hambriento, estoy hambriento. This is not so used, we use more tengo hambre, but this is also correct, it's just like, it's longer, but we don't use it that much, but it's literally, literally, I'm hungry. The other version that is tengo hambre is I have hunger but that one is uh, more popular estoy hambriento is longer then it's not so popular hambriento hungry I'm hungry hambriento desocupado estoy desocupado means that you are not busy estoy desocupado distraído estoy distraído Estoy distraído. Absent-minded. Absent-minded. Estoy distraído. Absent-minded. Consternado. Consternado. Estoy consternado. I'm distraught. Estoy consternado. Optimista. Estoy optimista. Optimistic. Estoy emocionado. Estoy emocionado. Excited. Estoy emocionado. Estoy asustado. Estoy asustado. I'm scared. Estoy avergonzado. Estoy avergonzado. Embarrassed. Estoy preocupado. Estoy preocupado. I'm worried. Estoy pensativo. Estoy pensativo. Thoughtful. Well, 
this is all for this lesson please remember to visit my website because i'm going to add some additional resources for this lesson for you to practice a pdf and some uh, audio and listening exercises for this okay so well thank you so much for listening don't forget to subscribe because that helped me a lot that so that helped me to continue uploading videos like this video please and also comment if you want see you next time bye